We've got a little village here, Captain. This kind of looks like that Volkos village we saw before. Short, polygonal huts. No one around, though. But there is a sign here. I can't read it, but I'm pretty sure it's a warning. I get that vibe from it. People died here, Captain. They left quite a bit of resources behind, though. We'll take what we can and get back to the ship. have done nothing. The drink can still explode over us every hour. You do? Great! Thank you, friendly alien. We were beginning to wonder if the drink would ever stop dying all over us. A few, yes. Though thankfully our defenses have held. But watching the drink and explode all over our defenses was mentally troubling, to say the least. Still, thank you. I'm sure if you report back to the Abyssal Consul on Mukayan, they'll wiggle most gratefully. This is a Mukay fish until recently, so thanks for that. When we found this world, it had fish. Thanks to our efforts, it, this is a good point, though we're only recently come to appreciate. For a long time, my people had a saying, screw the fish. But then we realized that if all the fish are gone, there would be none left to eat. Colonies like this help keep the Federation's total fish supply at delicious levels. Of course, we could think of nothing more peacefully cooperative than sharing our resources with you. Splish. Of course, and thanks again. Destruction Zone Alpha have a force field now! 
You! That is why you were making so many trips to their world. You have thwarted our orders to destroy the squids. We would destroy you if we had orders to do so. Which we do not. So? Carry on then. Anything else? Exception, civil farewell not found.
playful splashes, humans. Yes, we know. The Abyssal Council have considered this matter very carefully. Although we risk war, ruin, and being fried in a light golden batter, we cannot ignore your generosity and effectiveness at solving problems. It is agreed. Humans have been formally adopted as the second member of the Federation of Allied Species. We will send ambassadors to your homeworld right away. They will coordinate with your civilian leaders, share technology, and help keep us all from being squished horrifically by the scribe. They will also help you dispose of any fish you need to get rid of. If we might make one suggestion as to your first task as a Federation member, might we suggest you do something about the Drenkened? Even if they are never likely to be peacefully cooperative enough to become a Federation member themselves, we might still be able to convince them to stop butchering other aliens. Or at least specifically stop butchering us. We doubt their attack on our colony was the last will suffer. There's more you might help us with, Federation member. Though please don't take this as a sign that the life of a Federation member is a series of endless chores. That's but a portion of Federation life. One issue is simple. We desire information on any ice worlds that you encounter in the Wendigo Cluster. It is extremely difficult finding unpopulated ocean worlds in this part of the galaxy. So my people look for ice worlds with subsurface oceans to build colonies on. Furthermore, these oceans often contain fish, which, if properly exploited, mean that we could contain fish. Squeak. Because there are far, far less scribe ships to shoot us there, the Wendigo Cluster is a particularly ideal place for us to settle. Another issue is more involved. We are conducting research on a pre-industrial civilization in the Delta Horos system. We sent a ship down to the planet to monitor the primitive beings, but then it got stuck. Moving around on land is a little tricky for us. The primitives pose no threat to our researchers, but they have begun to worship our downed vessel as an idol. We believe strongly in not interfering with younger aliens' natural development. We call it our principal dictate. It shouldn't. We definitely invented it ourselves. Squeak. Anyways, if you could help those ships, our stomach pouches would tremor most gratefully. Then we look forward. Is there anything else? Squeak. Take care, Federation member. Captain Star Control has contacted us. They want us to return to Earth as soon as we can to discuss a vital new element to our mission.
You'll have to help us. We were studying the primitive beings of this world when our ship got stuck. There's a community of them that hides in the hills nearby, but now that they've found us, they've begun to worship our ship as their god. This is a bad thing. If they see us leave our ship to dig it out, they'll know we're actually aliens. Who knows what that will do to their development? Here's what we need you to do. There's a beast that roams this planet. The locals also worship it as a god. They've got a lot of gods. Anyways, we need you to kill it and bring us its corpse. We'll use the distraction this causes to free our vessel from the mud. To the god? Definitely. What? To the primitives? They'll get over it quickly, far better than having our true nature revealed to them. Thank you. There's a commute. This is here's what we. They've got. Anyways, we need you to kill it and bring us its corpse. Please think. We
please, you have to help us. We were studying. There's a community. This here's what we they've got. Anyways, we need you to kill it and bring us its corpse. Will you? Thank you. Hang on a second. If we position it just right, we can use its decaying mass to disguise our attempts to excavate our ship. It worked. Our ship is free. No, it's fine. These things happen all the time on this kind of mission. Anyways, we'll head back to our homeworld now. It's in the Beta Parvo system. You should come there too. I'm sure the Abyssal Consul will be grateful to know you helped us. Splish! Oh dear. Troubled, we've recently run into a small fleet of aliens called the Mowlings. If we understand what they were saying correctly, some other alien is posing as their god. A simple but well-meaning species. Very well-meaning. But very, very simple. An alien posing as god is a huge violation of the principal dictate. You're a member of the Federation. You should prove to us that you are committed to our principles. Help us free these mouthings from their false god. You can find them near the Shivius Cluster. The Mukai are always happy. We'll assign one of our vessels to your fleet now. Sadly, the Federation has lost many ships in recent conflicts. Are we troubled? We've if we understand what they were saying correctly, some other alien- An alien! Help us free these mal- You can find them near the Shivius Cluster. Happy fishing, Federation members.
Hello, Fe this is a Mukay fish exploitation colony, and part of the Federation of Ab- we Of course, we could think of nothing more peacefully cooperative than sharing our re- Thanks for dropping in! Playful splashes. Thank you. They returned to us not long ago. As are we. Please accept this small bounty as an expression of our gratitude. They also told us of your interactions with that primitive civilization. Murdered the god, was it? Yes, we've spoken to them about that. That's a pretty big violation of our principal dictate. Still, our researchers are alive. And it's hardly the first time we've violated that damned dictate. On that note, one of our researchers has taken particular interest in your ability to blunder through the dictate. Science Officer Blower has offered to join your crew. Many playful splashes, Federation members. Take care, Federation member. I've got some news, Captain. A group of friendly squids showed up in the system not too long ago. They're called the Muke, and say we're now part of something called the Federation of Allied Species. Which sounds like a pretty nice thing to be a part of. Well done! And their ships look pretty cool, too. They've been asking lots of questions about our fish, though. Maybe too many questions. Nice. Good work as always, Captain. There's one more thing. Given the imminent threat that the Scribe pose, many in Star Control want to establish a human presence outside of this system. Not keeping all our eggs in one basket, so to speak. We've been examining your reports on some of the systems you've visited, and have identified several where we might potentially set up colonies. But, to even consider that, we're going to need colony ships. The Taiwam have been trying to show us the secret of hyperspace travel, but it's slow going. We suspect they're holding something back. And they definitely don't want to just give us more hyperdrives. I think they're worried we're already reaching too far. Which means we need you to find more hyperdrives for us. If you find any in your travels, bring them back here. Whether we reverse engineer them or just straight up install them in new colony ships, we'll find some way to use them. And if we can reverse engineer them, we might be able to start equipping your fleet with our defense cruisers as well. Good, Captain. Now then, how can I help you?
Anything else, Captain? Good luck, Captain. Welcome back.
Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again.
Hello, garbage riding allies. Us? We certainly... Uh, but if you wanted to speak to a Minkmac about procuring your own supply of ears, I'm sure someone near Epsilon Fatum could help you out. Like what, ugly military ally? No pro... So at the moment, a hyperdrive? A Minkmac negotiate? Any of that interest you? Ah, uh, next, is there anything else? Eh, uh, your loss. Is there anything else, ugly allies? 